All right, this is peak summer in California Bay Area. And this is how things are in our backyard. So a lot of the spring crops have burned down. A lot of the flowers have gone, but we have another type and group of flowers. You can see some beautiful dahlias here. This is a cornel dahlia. You can see some verbana, some dianthus, some carnations, and then some beautiful gerbera daisies. So this one had almost, the yellow one we got last year, it was almost dead. And I revived it and it's doing great now. Look at those beautiful gerberas. And then the pink one is something we got, I think earlier this year and it's doing bonkers. Them. Beautiful. And then these are the chrysanthemum and strangely this year it's been blooming all through the year in spring. So last year we got a flush of it in fall and then this year we've been having flowers all through the season which is pretty good, pretty good. You can see a nice blue pansy here that I grew from seed. And then there is this random late blooming gladioli. Most of the others are done way in spring, way back in spring. And this one is just blooming now. I don't know, I don't know why. It's a nice beautiful color though. And then here we have some more carnations. This was a full bouquet of flowers. This had fully filled up at the peak of spring. Now you can see a few spotted flowers. You can see some petunias, my trusty solar water fountain. I gave it a little bit of a clean, had a lot of moss accumulated. Some zinnias, asters, bell peppers. You'll see tons of bell peppers now. Some uh, red chili, pots of chili from this, and this wild rose so this one was like a when we moved here there was a random rose plant trying to grow it was just a few inches tall that was two years ago and we kept giving it some nourishment and now it's become a wild rose plant it's got some nice dark purple or maroon flowers so hopefully we'll see a lot of that next spring some carrots in a bag and this is my wild bean forest tons of bean plants here and they're going nuts you can see them all over like climbing they've reached the peak maybe i did some harvesting but you may be able to see some see right here some bean here there are beans all hiding in probably not easily spot most of them are baby beans because i harvested a bunch recently uh, but yeah hopefully we'll get some more soon there's a nice beautiful tomato plant these bell peppers big one there big one down there lots of small ones and this guy has a ton of big bell peppers look at these huge ones all over the place look at that yeah, so this one is extremely productive and all of these are jalapenos, tons of jalapenos, very productive plant as well. We've got a lot of carrots, you can probably not gonna pull one out right now but you can see them down there. All the carrot tops ready to be picked, these are pretty mature right now. And then tomatoes. San Marzano there. You can see them here. And then some better boy, I think, down there. He got loaded with tomatoes this season. So running out of ideas what to do with them. Here you can see the Oriental Lily. This white one has a ton of buds. I think I counted like seven. It's doing fine. The stargazers. I think didn't like the heat too much, so 
don't have great form flowers and this is another white oriental lily that has a bunch of flowers i think a bunch of buds at least seven way more than last time and these two chrysanthemum are huge hopefully we'll get a nice bloom season in the fall same with this guy in the back here it's become large you can see one down there blooming some more bean plants here my beautiful curry leaf tree is doing still great and then finally the row of cosmos and zinnia so you can see the cosmos here they're doing pretty well you can see your flowers and then the zinnia are just coming up some nice colors uh, and this are sunflowers too a couple of sunflowers so you can see the zinnia and these sunflowers a couple marigold down there which are probably not growing as fast but they're pretty okay so yeah you can see the cosmos and all the flowers and the sweet alism carpeting the ground looks pretty good yeah that's that's how things are a little bit of a forest uh and yeah a lot of plants got hit by the heat and heat waves but so far so good otherwise and then you can see another tomato plant here this one is a amish paste tomato and it's super productive it's like I don't know maybe that's a 15 gallon pot and it's just done bonkers you've got way too many tomatoes from this one and he's running out of ideas what to do with it so yeah just a couple super productive plants is way more than enough for a few people for the season yeah that's about it Let's see how things go through the fall i'll probably dig up that patch there and Add some soil, like right there, and add some fall crops maybe, we'll see.